Okay, let's talk about your algebra grade and specifically how you can improve your algebra grade. So uh, can you go from a C minus uh, to an A plus in algebra? Is that possible? Absolutely. Now, the one thing is you will need time to uh, get your grade from a C minus to an A plus. You got to take a lot of quizzes and chapter tests or section tests or whatever the case is. So, uh, but even if you had only one week left in your course, you can make uh, significant uh, leaps in your grades. Okay, and you need to because you don't want to accept a poor grade in math. Uh, of course, we're talking about algebra, but you don't want to be thinking in terms of like, well, I just don't do well in math, so this is probably the best I can I can do. Uh, I'm here to tell you, no, you uh, can do better, and we can get that sad face looking like this. But you got to follow um, some uh, techniques or some tips. You got to really be thinking uh, in terms of action. You got to be taking the right actions, and that's what this video is about. So I'm going to give you a couple uh, tips, maybe like uh, two to four major things that you want to be doing uh, with a sense of urgency to improve your algebra grade. And if you follow uh, through with my advice, my guidance, you will see a nice improvement indeed in your grades. Okay, so I'm going to get to all that in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. And uh, I am, as I told you, a middle and high school mathematics teacher. Or maybe I didn't tell you that, but I am. So I can't give advice like this unless I have experience. And I have decades of experience teaching mathematics, especially algebra. Uh, so uh, what I'm telling you here is coming from someone who's been there, done that. Okay, you really want to follow my guidance because it's going to apply to all of you out there, wherever you might be, uh, because math teachers more or less, you know, um, I don't want to say think the same, but, you know, uh, you know, math teachers that grade a particular math course, especially algebra teachers, they see the same thing no matter where their locations are at. So what I'm telling you is going to apply where, wherever you're at. Okay. So follow my advice. I'm going to get to my tips here in a second, but uh, let me tell you a little bit about my program. Uh, tablet class math. Uh, I basically have um, uh, 100 plus different math courses, of which I think are some of the best math courses out there. Now, of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, like I said, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be uh, launching pre-calculus here uh, shortly. Very excited about that because it gives me a chance to teach advanced math, which I love. But um, I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, uh, high set task, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, uh, ASVAB, ACCUPLACER, ALEX, CLEP exam, all those exams, maybe, maybe a teacher certification exam, um, all those exams have a lot of math on them, okay, all those exams. So if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on the uh, exam. So uh, let me help you out. Just go to my website and check out my full course catalog. If I don't have your um, exam, uh, drop me a line in my contact form and I'll help you out the best I can. Now, I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program, then obviously I help those of you that are having a tough time in your uh, math uh, course. Now, uh, typically the way I kind of uh, introduce my videos is I talk about notes, but I'm going to reserve this here uh, for this particular video. Usually I say something about notes if you've watched my videos uh, before, but I'm going to stress that uh, in this particular video. So what are you... Like, what do we have to do to turn your algebra grade around, okay? So, let's go ahead and draw our little uh, math stick figure person right here. And uh, so, we're like, what do we do, okay? Like, well, what should I do? Well, the first thing you want to do, okay, if you're struggling in math, okay, if you have anything like a C minus or any poor grade or if you just need to improve, the first thing you want to do is to talk to talk uh, to your math teacher, okay? Talk to your math teacher, all right? So approach them, okay? Like, hey, listen, Mr. Math Teacher, I want to go from this to this. And then you need to ask the word how, okay? How can I do that, all right? So when a student would come to me and be like, listen, uh, you know, I'm, I'm struggling. I know I'm doing poorly. What, what can I do? Now, of course, most uh, teachers are probably trying to help that student already saying, hey, uh, look at your uh, Billy, you need to do uh, XYZ, or Sarah, you need to do XYZ. 
to improve your grade, but you need to take the initiative. Go talk to your math teacher and say, what can I do? How do I improve? And let them tell you, because they're your teacher. They're the ones that are going to be giving you uh, their grade. Now, what they might tell you is like, okay, let's sit down here, um, uh, Mr. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Smith or Joe Smith, whatever, make up a name. But they'll say, okay, Joe, let's sit down here. Let's take a look at your grade. Oh, you're not doing your homework. Hmm, okay. If you give me back this uh, homework, I'll give you partial credit. Da, 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 da. You'll find when you talk to your math teacher and you kind of plead to them, please help me, how can I improve your grade? Typically, a lot of teachers are going to uh, show some mercy on you and they'll be like, you know what, this person really does want to improve. I want to give them an opportunity to see if they're really uh, uh, willing to do the work. So they might talk to you about your homework, okay? Uh, they might talk to you about, hey, look at you, your test uh, grades and your quiz grades are obviously not where they need to, need to be. So you need to go back and review X, Y, Z. Now, as you're talking to your math teacher, you want to be uh, asking specifically for extra help, okay? You need to get extra help because obviously you, um, you know, you didn't understand the instruction in a class. Now, why wouldn't you understand the instruction in class? Okay, so let's let's be honest here. Okay, uh, what have you been doing? All right, have you been focused in class? Okay, what have you have you been focused in class? Uh, I'm going to tell you right now. If you have a poor grade, something like a C minus, chances are you've been distracted. So you're going to have to get focused. All right. So the first action is let's just kind of um. Uh, write this, uh, highlight these, you got to talk to your math teacher, okay? All right, they're going to tell you, do X, Y, Z. Then you're going to say, hey, listen, thank you for this advice. Can you give me extra help? <laughs> All right, so you got to get as much help. You got to go on the attack here, the offensive. All right, now, uh, in addition to this, they're going to tell you probably about your conduct and, hey, you're talking too much in class, da, 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 da. But you have to ask yourself, are you focused in class? Chances are you're not as focused as you uh, need to be, okay? So you're going to have to improve your focus. And so let's write this down here. Yeah, so to improve your focus, you're going to have to up your focus game. And how can you do that? Well, there's a couple things you can do, all right, and you probably need to do and you ask your teacher is you might need to um, move to a different seat. You're probably sitting next to uh, uh, somebody that likes to talk to you or like, you know, there's some sort of distraction going on. And you got to do um, things like put away your cell phone, et cetera, et cetera. You got to do all those stuff, okay, like to, to minimize distractions. But the one thing that uh, along with um, uh, changing your seating and all that other stuff is to really get serious about focusing is what I always talk about is you got to take, well, man, I can't have a spell, not no, notes, okay? You got to take great notes, great, great, great notes. So you got to say, all right, I'm going to sit down, buckle down, I'm going to be laser focused on the teacher. I'm going to write everything down. I'm going to raise my hand. That's another thing you need to be doing. Let's, uh, let's see if I can do this. Hey, Mr. Teacher, I don't understand. Okay, ask questions, all right? So write things down. Uh, and you got to really, really work hard at this every single day, all right? So improve your focus, uh, improve your note-taking. Now, um, generally, in the beginning of my videos, I offer, I say, hey, if you don't have great notes right now, okay, because probably you don't, then uh, a couple things you can do. Uh, ask your teacher, hey, can I get a copy of your notes? Maybe they have some notes for you. Or you might want to pick up a, a set of my notes. You can find a link, uh, links to my notes in the description of this video. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, uh, algebra two, and trigonometry. So obviously, if you're in algebra course, you might want to pick up my algebra notes. But you want to be studying, okay? So that brings me to our next thing: is you're going to have to increase, increase your study, okay? Study time. Study time. You're not studying enough, all right? So if you're like, well, you know, uh, I have, a, you know, I'm busy after school, you know, I have uh, sports, or, you know, or I got a, I got a part-time job. Hey, listen, I get it. But the bottom line is this. If you don't increase your study time, because obviously you're going to have to relearn a lot of stuff, you're not going to, um, uh, you know, make big strides in your grade, okay? So you're going to have to find the time to study more, okay? And that can include extra help. Yeah, again, 
uh, you got to talk to your math teacher or your math teacher could be like, okay, let, let's go over your, your test. They should know better than anyone else, um, like exactly what you know and don't know. They, you know, use them as a tutor, okay, more or less, all right? So increase your study time, increase your focus by doing your notes in class, okay? And obviously talk to your math teacher. We're kind of reviewing these things um, as we go along, getting extra help. Now, uh, the ex this extra help is related to your math teacher, but I'm going to throw in something that will kind of uh, um, keep this as a wrap here is you can use uh, an outside, get outside help, I guess. So let's put it this way, outside help. Okay. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, that would mean like a program like uh, like mine or using my YouTube videos. Okay. Uh, be like, okay, I don't understand this. Take the initiative, right? Go like, uh, I don't understand the quadratic equation. Let me just go and get some um, outside help. You know, the internet is a powerful thing. Now, I need to caution you who you're getting help from. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of help out there, a lot of videos out there and everything else. Not all of them are made by somebody who is, let's say, a math teacher. You really want to try to find someone who teaches uh, teaches mathematics because a math teacher, this is what they do per profession, um, and they're going to be able to, they see all the mistakes students make, okay? So if I've seen how many, um, let's say, quadratic equation problems have I graded over my, uh, you know, profession as a math teacher, maybe 100 million uh, problems I've seen. Well, of course, that's a little ridiculous, but it's definitely thousands, tens of thousands of problems. And when you see that much work, student work, you identify trends. Look, these students always mess up these parts. Oh, you understand how to teach because you have experience. So you want to get great outside help. Now, of course, I can definitely help you out in my math help program, my YouTube videos, etc. But you need to get supplemental help, right? You're going to have to take some initiative because your math teacher um, is just going to be too, uh, be too busy. Now, when I'm talking about extra help from your math teacher, it might be like, say, 10 minutes after school or before class, whatever the case is, but you need to seek out their help, okay? Because this is going to show them that you have the desire to increase your grade. And that's this is really what uh, you want to show your math teacher. Like, you know what? This person, uh, they're in class. They're taking great notes. I see them working hard. Um, they're asking you know, they're asking for extra help. They're, they're really serious about improving uh, and learning and, uh, you know, uh, getting a better grade. And then you, obviously, as you increase your study time and get some supplemental help, you're going to do better on tests and quizzes. And your, your teacher is going to be like, wow, you know, this, this person's doing good. You know, they can see you going from a C, uh, maybe a C minus to a B minus. The math teachers love to see that. They're like, wow, look at this person's improving. Now, guess what happens? If you end up with like an 89 point two percent okay uh and it's your final grade believe me when i tell you um a lot of teachers will be like hmm uh little billy has been doing so good they've been trying so hard and they're going to give you uh they're just going to make up some points they're going to grab some points from uh the uh, the bank of math, the central bank of math reserves, call it what you want. They're just going to grab some points from the clouds, a couple percentage points, just a few. And they might go, they might take your 89.2 to an 89.6% and then just round that off to an A minus because they're really going to reward you for your work. And they want to keep uh, you excited as a student, keep that momentum going. Okay. So I'm telling you, the, what you demonstrate to your teacher in terms of your effort will count, okay? And it can count big time when you're uh, right on the edge um, of these, you know, kind of critical points in terms of uh, your grades. And this could even be for like a C. Or let's say you're, let's say you have an F, like, you know, it's pretty bad right now. Uh, but if you get to a 68.7%, you know, uh, and you've been working like crazy and you've really shown your teacher a lot, uh, even though, you know, you didn't have a chance to make up a lot of uh, previous tests, if they feel like you have worked, you know, that hard and understand just enough, they'll leap your grade forward, okay? Now, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, give you all the insight of how teachers, you know, think I don't want to give away all our secrets, but what I'm telling you is this, your effort 
um, your true effort, okay, your honest effort, your integrity, um, as you know, as your teacher can see, you know, especially with your everyday conduct, is going to go a long, long, long way. So the bottom line is this: Can you improve your algebra grade? Absolutely. Okay. Will you? That's only a question you can uh, uh, ask or answer. But the bottom line is this: you Don't have a mindset of like. Mm, I'm just not good in math. This is, I always get these kind of grades because math is my word subject. And I'm like, you know, I always consistently every year get bad math grades. Okay. That's, uh, you've been doing something, uh, you know, you don't have to be getting mad, bad math grades, right? Don't just think that, you know, like math is terrible. I'm just like, you know, I'm not good in it. So therefore I just get these kind of grades all the time. And then I always get A's and, uh, you know, um, history or social studies or whatever the case might be. Okay. Turn this around, listen to what I'm saying with these tips, apply them, and you're going to see a, a nice improvement in your math grade. I can assure you of that. Okay. So if this video was helpful in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That's helpful uh, for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Um, again, use my videos. Right? I have tons and tons of videos on my channel. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years. So check out my pre-algebra and algebra playlist if you're in algebra, obviously. Um, and then, uh, you know, if you're really, really my best math help, uh, you'll want to uh, get into one of my math courses like Algebra 1 or Pre-Algebra. Okay, but the bottom line is, you know, if you like my teaching style, you know, uh, I, you know, it's my passion to help students, right, to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.